I have no idea why, but GIS programs are just really annoying to learn. And sometimes we need a really quick 3D model of a city. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create any city in Rhino from Google Maps. If we're just meeting, my name's Chris, and here at All Arc, we offer an alternative perspective on all things architecture and design. If you're trying to create a really accurate site model, check out this link up here and in the description below. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna download multiple different programs like Blender, RenderDoc, Maps Models, Importer, and don't shy away because of all that. If you just stick with me, it should take no time at all and you can delete all those programs afterwards. All right, let's jump right in. All right, how's it going y'all? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is download Blender. It's actually a free program now. So go to blender.org, click the download Blender button and download Blender. I also have a link to it in the description below. Okay, and also linked in the description below is an application called RenderDoc. Follow that link and click the download button. And the last application we're gonna to wanna to download is a Maps Models Importer. So go to the link in the description below, scroll down, and here under the installation section, you can see download a release. Click the release link, scroll down, and click Maps Models Importer, the zip file here. Okay, and it'll save it into your downloads folder. The great thing about that is you actually don't have to unzip it, so just leave it as is. Now I'm gonna run the installation wizard for Blender. And then I'm gonna run the installation wizard for RenderDoc. During the installation, it's gonna ask you if you wanna do typical, custom, or complete. You can go ahead and select typical. All right, now that's all finished, let's go to our desktop. So now I'm on the Windows desktop and we actually need to use Google Chrome. So if you don't have that downloaded, go ahead to the Google website and install it. After you have it installed, go to your taskbar, click the magnifying glass and search for chrome.exe. Right click it and select open file location. Right click it again and select create shortcut. Select yes. So now we created a shortcut on our desktop. Now right click our shortcut that we just created on the desktop and click properties. So here where it says target, you're gonna go into the description of this video, copy what I have there for the Google Chrome shortcut, and then you're gonna paste it into this box. After that, click apply and select okay. And you can see that it changed your Google Chrome shortcut into a different icon. Now let's open RenderDoc, the program that we downloaded earlier. When you have RenderDoc open, go to Tools, Settings, and here where it says Enable Process Injection, Restart Required, go ahead and tick that box and click OK. Close out of RenderDoc and then open it right back up again. So now let's go to our Google Chrome shortcut, double click it, and it's gonna give you a pen ID. Mine says 8576, but yours is gonna be different. Go to RenderDoc, go to File, click inject into process, or it says filter process list by PID or name. I want you to type in the ID that Google Chrome gave you. And here you can see where it brought up Chrome EXE. I'm gonna double click that. And now let's go into Google Chrome and click okay. If you've done it correctly, you'll see a render doc overlay at the top left. Now go to google.com slash maps. Here, type in whichever city you wanna make a 3D model of. I'm gonna do a fun city like New York. Zoom in, and here where it says layers, go over to more and click satellite. And make sure to turn off your labels. And now close out of these two dialog boxes. Zoom in to where you want the 3D model of and hold shift and control Click and then drag, and it'll go into 3D mode. Now go into the render doc application. Right here where it says capture after delay, change this to one second. So I'm gonna tell you what to do before I actually do it here. I'm gonna click capture after delay, then I'm gonna hold control shift. I'm gonna go to Google Chrome, and I'm gonna click and drag my mouse around. And what it's gonna do is activate that window. And you can see it froze there for a second. That means that it worked. 
Now we're gonna go back into render dock and here you can see where it rendered our 3D model. Now what I like to do is double click it, right click it, and then click save. I'm just gonna save this one to my desktop and call it New York. Now we're gonna open up Blender that we downloaded earlier. Click general, press A, and then delete to delete everything. Go up to edit, click preferences, and then click install at the top right. Now you're gonna select the maps models importer that we downloaded earlier. It's okay if you select the zip file, that should work. Mine's already installed, so I'm not gonna do it right now. After you've selected it, click install add-on and you should be good to go. I'm gonna close out of these two and now go up to file, import, Google Maps Capture RDC. Now you're gonna to go to where you saved your 3D model that you exported from RenderDoc. Mine was on my desktop and I named it New York.RDC. After you found it, click import Google Maps Capture and give it a little bit of time to load. Now, if you hold Z and go to material preview, you can see that you have a 3D model of the city. Now, what I like to do is press A, hold control and press J and that'll join everything up so you can use it in Rhino. Now go to make sure it's selected and then go to file, export, .fbx. I'm gonna put mine on the desktop again and name it New York. And click. Hold up, hold up, one second. Before you hit export here, change your forward to Y and your up to Z. Okay. And click export FBX. Now let's go ahead and hop over into Rhino. All right, now that we have Rhino open, go to file, import, and select your 3D model. Give it a second because it takes some time. Because these files are rather large, it takes Rhino some time to import them. But what I did here was I went up and changed it to rendered view and I turned my sun settings on so you get a little bit of a shadow in the city. So there are a couple errors that could pop up while you're going through this process. I think the one that I see most prominently is gonna be your file sizes are too large. They're too large for Rhino or they're too large for Blender. So what you can do is go back into Google Maps and zoom into the city a little bit more. I noticed that when I was doing New York and I was really zoomed out, it took forever to do the 3D render. And sometimes it would even crash my Rhino or my Blender. So just zoom in a little bit more. And also this isn't a foolproof method. So if it doesn't work the first time, just go back and try it again. Maybe switch something up a little bit. Try a different city. If you get any errors, drop them in the description below and I'll try to get to them. If you like the video, please like the video and consider subscribing down below if you wanna see future content. So if you check out the video at the top there, it's gonna show you how to make a really accurate site model. And the one at the bottom, I think that's just another video that you'll really like. Thanks for watching y'all, I'll catch you next time.